Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 predictions. A few results, you know, going slightly against the odds um, this weekend in the League 2. A few results going with the odds but not as much goals for certain teams as I was probably thinking. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what to do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Carlisle versus Crew Alexander. Carlisle losing 1-0 away to Newport. Crew Alexander 1-0 um, at home to Exeter. Top of the table clash that was. Um, I was expecting nothing less really. No disrespect to either Crew or Exeter. I just know top of the table clashes do roughly end up in the draw. Um... But where do you, if you're a Carlisle fan, away to Newport, defeat um, to Newport, where do you expect in that um, going into this week, uh, going into last weekend? Um, obviously, League 1 and 2 do date centre stage this weekend because there's no Championship or Premier League games due to the internationals. Um, so these sort of games I will be keeping a closer eye on um, and hopefully watch one or two of them at least if I can. Um, but as far as this result goes, I've got to give it to Crew, And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Crew win. My next one is Cheltenham Town versus Newport. Yet yeah, again, sort of a top the table clash. Um, Cheltenham Town won all away to Oldham Athletic. Great point for Oldham. Uh, Newport, just let you mention them, beating Carlisle 1-0 at home. Expected nothing less from Newport in that game. I will address on the Newport point of view purely because of um, that's how I do things. Great point for Newport. Expecting nothing less. No disrespect to Carlisle. Um, obviously, a great day to be a Newport fan. Obviously, as I said, there was a few games that went against the odds, so I'll get down to them and I'll get down to our fixtures. But great day for Newport and a bit of a disappointing day for Cheltenham Town. One all away to Oldham. Because of that scoreline and the Newport scoreline, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Newport win. My next one is Crawley versus Colchester. Colchester beating Stevenage 3-1 at home. Crawley losing 3-1 away to Forest Spring. Expecting nothing less of Forest Spring, but they're literally going to have to go nuts. I'll talk about more about that from their perspective in just a minute. Crawley, mm, yeah, I've summoned that up, Crawley perspective. Yeah, I'll probably won't expect nothing more from Crawley. No disrespect to Crawley. Colchester, great three points again. Stevenage, and I do think Stevenage went 1-0 up in that game as well because I remember watching the scores and basically an old Stevenage 1-0 up. What a shock. Um, but Colchester managed to pull it back. Um, but as far as this result goes... I'm going to go for a 2-1 Colchester win. My next one is Exeter versus Forest Green. Great uh, top of the cable, table clash again. As I just mentioned, Forest Green 3-1 home win against Crawley. Exeter 1-0 um, away to Crew Alexander. Top of the table clash again. Um, I don't think it's quite first versus second, but it's still top of the table clash. Both teams are, go, go, are looking into this game full of confidence. Exeter with their home form, Forest Green with that quality result, um, and how well they've been playing. Um, but let's just sum this up on a Forest Green point of view. Great three points um, for Forest Green. 
as I said, probably expecting nothing less from Forest Green, but you know, still have to go out and do your job. Um, Exeter, I have already said on the credits, on the side, expecting nothing less. Great point for Exeter, especially away from home. But as far as this game goes, I gotta go yet again for a one-all scoreline for that one. The next one is Lake Norman versus Walsall. Walsall losing 3 0 away um, at home to Salford City. Um, um, Lake Norman got around the end. Um, yeah, Lake Norman beating Northampton Town 1 0 away from home. Great three points for Lake Norman. Um, you know, I'm going to expect nothing less from. Uh, well, I probably was expecting a little bit more of Northampton Town. But as I said, great three points for Lake Norman. Um, yeah, again, especially just coming up from the conference. And, you know, seems to be doing okay. Um, Wolves, on the other hand, a bit disappointed. I really am disappointed on Walsall's point of view. I'll tell you why I'm disappointed. Not now, you've already mentioned, or well, I've already mentioned, about money in this game means nothing. I expect Walsall to at least get one goal at home against someone like Salford City. That's no disrespect to Salford City whatsoever. But for Walsall to get beaten 3 0 at home, it is one of them things where you're just going to have to move on. But as I said, I'm a bit disappointed on a Walsall perspective. But as far as this game goes, because they're at home, I'm going to go for a 2 1 late Norian win. My next one is Macclesfield versus Port Vale. Macclesfield 2 2 at home to Cambridge. Port Vale beat Morecambe at home 3 1. Great three points for um, Port Vale. Probably expecting nothing less. Um, mm, Macclesfield, on the other hand, probably am just expecting a little bit more. But mind you, I were playing Cambridge, and I know how tough Cambridge could be at home, so great point for Macclesfield on the other foot. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a draw, and I'm going to vote for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Mansfield versus Oldham Athletic. Mansfield 1-0 winners away to Grimsby. Oldham Athletic won all at home to Cheltenham. Great point for late, um, Oldham. Um, great three points for Mansfield. I think I expected a little bit more of Grimsby, but I'll get that down to I'll get down to their fixture. Oldham, great point. Absolute great point. I did not see that coming. No disrespect to Oldham. Um, but still a great point. Um, on that end for Oldham, um, Charlton Man is ten a uh, team to play. So you know it is one of them things, but great point for Oldham anyway. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm gonna go for a two one Mansfield win. I just can't see Oldham basically causing nearly two shocks in a row, but who knows? Um, my next one is more um. Morecambe versus Bradford. <sighs> Bradford, 2 1 winners at home against Swindon Town. Morecambe losing 3 1 away to Michael's, um, Port Vale. Um, yeah, uh, Morecambe 3 1 losers away to Port Vale. Um, great three points for Bradford. Um, a bit disappointed in Swindon, but I'll get down to them when I talk down to their fixture. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 3-1 Bradford, Bradford win. My next one is Salford City versus Cambridge. Cambridge winning 3 now against Wands uh, Walsall. Um, yeah, great three points for Salford against Walsall. Um... Cambridge 2-2 at home against 
Macclesfield. This one in David Cambridge. I expect a bit more of them. How are they doing? Um, Salford on your front. Great three points. Great away day. Um, probably, you know, deserve something like that. A result like that against a team like Walsall, you know, you have to deserve it. So you must have played well. Uh, unfortunately, I ain't managed to catch up on you know, uh, highlights for that game. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it back to Cambridge because I know how well they could play. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Cambridge win. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Northampton Town. Scunthorpe 2-2 away to Plymouth Argyle. Great point for Scunthorpe. Um, Northampton Town losing 1 0 at home to Lake Norian. Great point for Scum for Don't know how to sum up Northampton Town, so how well they've been doing in the past couple of weeks. But look on that Plymouth side 2 2 against Scum for Talk more about that side when I get down to their fixture. But great point for Scum for And um, for as this game goes, I'm going to go yet again for another 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Grimsby. Stevenage losing 3 1 away to Colchester. As I've said, went 1 0 up in that game. Grimsby Town losing 1 0 at home to Mansfield. Um, as I said, Stevenage went 1 0 up in that game. And I just said it. Um, but, you know, go up 1 0 against Colchester. Bit early. If you want to, you know, 90th minute, you'll probably get the three points, but not uh, good to have a go, Stevenage. Grimsby Town, 1 0 at home, uh, lost at home to Mansfield. Disappointing day for Grimsby. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Swindon Town versus Plymouth Argyle. Swindon Town losing 2-1 away to Bradford. Um, Plymouth Argyle 2-2 at home to Scunthorpe. Disappointing day for Plymouth. Disappointing day for Swindon Town. Um, the only comfort that Plymouth have got over Swindon Town going into this weekend is... But I've got the point. But set from that, nothing. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Swindon Town win. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.